Hey everybody, Ron and Laura Burke here from Gaming Trend, here to unbox the Xbox One X to show you what's inside when you get your own on November 7th. Gotta love the official Xbox box. I'm not sure your shipping container will look like that, but uh, let's see what's inside the official box. I like how you're doing this like a magician, all behind the box so nobody can see anything. Looks like the controller is the same. One of the first things that I noticed is, you notice that there's no giant brick in the box? The power brick is now inside the system. Thank you for the water cooling to keep all that temperature control. So as you can see, we've got them unboxed now. There's a pretty marked size difference between the original Xbox One and the Xbox One X. I don't have an Xbox One S to compare it to, but it's slightly larger, maybe by millimeters, to the Xbox One S. Let's take a look at the rear. As you can see, there's still two HDMI ports. That's Microsoft's constant commitment to this being an entertainment platform, as much as it is an Xbox gaming console. Comparatively, you can see that they've eliminated the connect connection port and kind of changed up the layout a bit. On the original Xbox One X, over in the corner is a touch button for turning the system on and on the side is a single USB port and the synchronization button. On the Xbox One X, thankfully, that has been replaced by a single physical button here to press as well as moving the USB port to the front and the synchronization button as well. It's much more convenient than the original design. Another great feature on this new system is that it's completely matte I know you don't play the console itself, but as you can see, uh, I don't drag the Xbox One through a parking lot on a routine basis, but it's still quite scratched. This new matte system should stay that pristine look for as long as you keep it. The controllers are slightly different on the Xbox One X. You can see that on the day one edition, this top portion it's kind of a separate piece, whereas on the new Xbox One X, it's one solid molded piece. Beyond that, there's very little difference between the two, at least on the surface. So that about does it for our unboxing video. We're going to get under the hood in our full review for the system, and you can see that as we get closer to that November 7th launch date. Thanks for watching.